Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about the operation of source follower or we will call this as a common drain amplifier. So since this is a gate terminal, drain terminal and source terminal, since the drain is common for your both input side and output side, we will call this as a common drain amplifier. Now we will see the operation of source follower. When we when we apply V in voltage, the corresponding gate voltage gets increases. So the what is the output voltage equation will be? The output voltage equation will be ID into RS. So as V increases, the ID current gets changes. Once ID current gets changes, the output voltage gets changed. So the always the V in is directly proportional to the output or output voltage is directly proportional to the input voltage. So as V in increases, the output increases. As V in decreases, the output decreases. So it is always follows the input voltage. So the application where we can use it, we can use it for as it is a buffer. Now let us see the circuit simulation for the source follower. So here I have done for the source follower. This is my N mass where drain terminal is common for your both input and output side. In the input side we have given two voltages. One is a six AC source and another one is for your corresponding biasing. Since the M1 should be operation saturation region for amplification purpose. So that's why we have given something around 1.2 volts and then the VDD is 5 volts. And then we have given the resistance value is something around 600 kilo ohms. And then for sign we have given a 10 millivolts amplitude and frequency of 1 kilohertz. Now I have given the model as a threshold voltage as a 0.7 volts and the width and length will be your 10 by 5 and lambda is 0 and gamma is 0 where K is your mu and C aux. Mu and C aux I have given 200 micro. So now let us go for the simulation of the source follower. So I have given so the transienters uh, I have for 10 for 10 millivolts it will be my 10, for 10 milliseconds it will be running the maximum time step is 10. So let me run. So this is my input and this is the output. So we can observe the both and input out output are moreover same. That means that the output is following the input that is called source follower. So we can go to view and then we can find a spice error log. So this will measure your input peak to peak and this will measure the output peak to peak. So here this V of V in is, so for V in I have given the name as a V in. So it will measure the peak to peak for this voltage and then to measure the output voltage peak to peak. So now view surprise error log. So here we can find V in is a V in peak to peak value is something around 0 0.01 and V out peak to peak is something 0 0.018562. So the gain is around 0 0.93, this is almost unity. So now what is the corresponding gain formula for the source follower. So GM RS by 1 plus GM plus GMB RS. So now let us go for the uh, corresponding operating so dot OP so which I have given already. So let me disable this by giving semicolon I have disabled it. So close this go to view and go to see this uh, sorry spice error log to view spice error log. So here we can see the GMB is 0 and GM is 2.42 into 10 to the power of minus 5. So GM is 0, so GM RS by GM RS. So both gets cancelled out. It's almost unity. The AV is equal to 1. The practically we have got almost values around 0 0.9, 0 0.911. So this is how we can perform source follower where which we can use it for the purpose of and buffer. Thank you for watching.